The Princes and Their Beasts. Once upon a glorious afternoon, four royal siblings had just finished their classes for the day. Terence was the eldest. The twins, Alan and Alicia, were the youngest. And finally, classes are over. Let's go out. Aren't we forgetting someone? Who? Ah, uh, James. James was the middle child of the royal family. He was a kind boy, but many a times forgotten. Are you children leaving? Wait a minute. Terence, my eldest, I've asked the cook to make you a meal packed with strength. Thanks, Mom. And my youngest little babies, here's your lunch. It's your favorite. Thank you. Thank you. Um, where's mine? Oh, uh. Um, here. We know how much you love apples. Not really. Well, off you go, and be careful. The four of them rode away and soon came to a huge forest, and the siblings decided to explore it. I've heard there's a lake somewhere in this forest. Never seen it. What about you, Terrence? Nope. Isn't anyone going to ask me anything? Oof. Um, guys? Oh, come on, I can't be that invisible. Hmm, I feel like something's missing. James, where's James? They ran back to find James all tangled up in the branches. Seems to me you're in a sticky situation. Get it? Sticks? Branches? Haha, -ha, Terrence. Oof. Thanks, Alicia. Look, there's a path here. She pointed to a narrow path that winded downwards. They followed it and soon came upon a wide and magnificent lake. I told you. <laughs> Don't go too far, Alicia. While the princess stayed back to scout the area, Alicia happily enjoyed herself in the water. Huh? What's that? Ah! Alicia? They stared in horror as a huge water dragon had taken hold of Alicia. It stared at them menacingly. Help! Help! It swam away with the princess, leaving her three brothers alone and shaken. Alicia! Alicia! That overgrown scaly worm. It was a water dragon, Terence. Alan, calm down. We'll find Alicia. We'll bring her back and defeat that monster. Unfortunately, though, the horses had fled in fright, and so the princess trudged through the forest with heavy hearts. The water dragon swept across the lake, carrying Alicia to a humble abode. But the occupants weren't humble people. They were a band of thieves that worked for a horrible witch. Oh. What? Thank you, darling. What have you brought me? How dare you? Unhand me. I'm a princess. You brought me a princess? <laughs> My brother saw everything. They'll come for me. Brothers? More royal prisoners means higher ransom. We're going to be rich, laying in gold. You'll be laying in prison once my brothers find you. Oh, they wouldn't have to take the trouble. Go find these princes and bring them back to me. At the other end of the forest... We must hurry. Alicia! Alicia! <sighs> Do you hear that? What? Alicia? James heard someone screaming for help. Help! Uh, this is all your fault. Your fault for following me. You wandered off. Ugh! If you have the energy to scream, then scream for help. Help! 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 James found the three animals sitting sadly in the ditch. They're just some baby animals. People?
people. Oh, please save us. Can't you get out the same way you got in? Brilliant, Terrence. We're in this mess because of him. He's always leading us into trouble. Yes, yes, blame the fox. Look, if you help us out, we'll help you if you need anything, too. What help can three baby cubs offer us? Ha 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 ha, how cute. Well, we'll help you. They climbed down slowly and lifted the animals out. The lioness cub adored Terrence for his strength. The kind bear cub and Alan got along well. And the fox and James were, well, stuck together. You don't need to bother about me. I'm just a troublemaker. Well, either way, you're young and I'm going to look after you. The six of them wandered through the forest, the brothers explaining their plight to the little cubs. When I find that dragon, I'll defeat him. Yeah, me too. Ha ha! I have a little sister too, so I know how you feel right now. We'll find her. Thank you, little one. I don't think I can help. I'll just trouble everyone. Hmm. Little fox, wait. Meanwhile, the thieves had found the two brothers with their cubs and decided to set a trap for the animals. And with the animals, we'll trap the princess too. <laughs> hmm? Where's the fox? Where's your brother? Hmm, food. Wait. The lioness cub ran through the bushes and the others chased behind. She finally found the origin of the smell. Hmm, that looks good. You can't, you can't, you can't just run off. Oh, yum. Why is there food here? I don't... Oh! They were trapped, and the thieves came out laughing. Ha ha ha! We've got you. And now we'll be rich. Luckily, James hadn't been caught. He had, however, found his fox. Don't wander off like that. I told you, I'm of no use to you or anyone. Look, we just need... Huh? Where... Where are they? Guys? Hello? Oh no, we've lost them. I told you I'd just bring trouble wherever I go. James sat by the fox and spoke to him gently. Look, I'm pretty much invisible in my family too. But I'm still trying. You made a mistake and that's okay. So you don't hate me? Nope. Now, you promised to help us if we helped you, right? Yeah. So come on, let's find everyone. Now the two princes and their cubs had been taken to the witch. She was ecstatic. Well done, well done. Now I have three royal prisoners. And what are those? They were with the princes. We will get you for this? Uh. <laughs> you call that a growl, sweet little kitten. No one noticed the bear cub gnawing at the lioness's ropes. She finally got free and pounced at the witch. Ooh, ow! Yeah, beware of my beast. Huh, but the witch had a trick up her sleeve. Ha! Huh. No! She had turned the little cub into stone with her wand. And she did the same for the bear. No! Terrence, where's James? Little bro, we've lost him on our way here. Hmm, so there's another brother, huh? Hmm. We, we didn't see anyone else. Go and get him. And you three can wait quietly till then. No! 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 After a while, James and his fox cubs stumbled upon the witch's abode. It's here. I can smell them. Well done. Hmm. But how do we get in? Hey, where are you? There may be another way. I'll go look. 
No, wait! They'll find you! So what? I'm just a fox. You're in more danger than I am. Yeah, but we can't... Ugh. What? Where are we now? Seems to be an underground tunnel. Mm-hmm. I can hear voices that way. Ugh. Not again. Wait! They came to a trap door. Am I a genius? Or am I a genius? Let's find out. They pushed the trap door away carefully and peeped into what was the witch's underground storage room. James and the fox saw the thieves as they moved about noisily. <laughs> Look at all the loot we've got. We are the best thieves in the kingdom, but after we kidnap the last prince, we'll be rich. Poor little royals and their pets turned to stone. <laughs> oh no! Haha! <gasps> <sighs> <laughs> no one could defeat our witch and her stone wands. As soon as the last prince shows up, she'll turn him to stone too. The thieves left, and James and his fox came out and went to the stone statues. We'll rescue them. But how? James disguised himself as the thieves and warned the little fox to stay hidden, lest he be turned to stone. They went up slowly, carefully, and bumped straight into the witch. Oh! Ow! Ugh. Mm, I'm sorry. Hmm. Clumsy fool. I've never seen you before. That's because I'm new here. <laughs> well, go and help the others search for the remaining prince. What's your name? Y y yes, it's James. Hmm. Who's the new guy? James? James? We don't have anyone of that name here. We don't? Terrence, where's James? James, you! You're the last prince! Ha ha! The witch tried attacking James with her wand and almost turned the whole room to stone. James dodged her attack, but now he had no escape. And now, you can join your siblings and their animals downstairs. Not on my watch. Yeah. What on earth? Oof! Ha <laughs> ha! Catch James! James caught the wand and split it in half, breaking the spell and releasing all under it. The two brothers and Alicia ran upstairs along with the two cubs. James! Oh, you're not getting away that easily. Hiya! Oh! The thieves entered to save the witch, but. Beware of our magnificent beasts! Seeing them armed, along with the animals, the thieves ran away. No! Come back! Since you love stone so much, you're gonna love your new prison cell. The four siblings bound up the witch, and luckily, on the way they found their horses. They then said goodbye to their new friends. Ha 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 ha! You are one brave little lioness. And one day, I'll be big and brave. Rawr. Mmm, so warm. Mmm, so warm. Mmm, so warm. See, without you, none of us would have been saved. You're amazing. You're not so bad yourself. The little cubs went back to the forest and the siblings had the witch locked up in prison. But no one said the goodbye was forever. The four royal siblings, along with their beasts, went out on many adventures and lived a very happy life. <laughs>